this on? Yes? I'm not a song dissector, but who's tired of all these temporary things that are out there, right? Here? Tired of the riots, tired of the protests, tired of the virus, the media, yeah. the fake news. But all I hear is the Lord saying is, so what are you going to do about it? Right? Well, what are we going to do about it? Usually when you're sick and tired of something, you do something about it. Right? We just continue to take it, I guess. I don't know. It's time for us to do something about it. It's not my message, but just the thought I had. <laughs> oh, all right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, I had a hard time. I always think it's, I feel like it's, it's good to have a good beginning. Kind of like a movie, because if the beginning isn't good, people might, you know, lose interest and stuff like that. I had a really hard time trying to figure out how to start this thing off, so... If the beginning isn't good, don't worry. It should get better. <laughs> it will be. So, I guess I'll give you some history on why I chose the direction I'm going to go in tonight. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to talk about you guys, so don't get mad at me if I say something I shouldn't say. Huh? Well, if it offends you, it probably means something. I don't know. Is that on video? I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I have a lot of names in here, though. That's the, that's the thing. So what we did, actually, we had a youth group for the first time in a while a few weeks ago, which was, which was very good. Um, and we made all of the kids. Do you guys know what your name means? Like, do you remember what your name means? Oh, then I can go home. We can go home then. <laughs> all right, forget it. So we actually made all the kids go through and... Uh, pull up the meaning of their, um, of their name, which is very important. It's, it's very important to know who you are. You know, back in the day, um, in the Bible, most names, you know, you were named for a purpose. You were named for a reason. It doesn't happen no more, especially when, you're, you know, your first name is Mercedes or, or Tesla or Chevy. You know, like, you got all these kids being named after cars. Like, yeah, right. It's pathetic, not prophetic. So, um, take this from the individual aspect and we're going to turn it into the corporate thing. Why is my throat all in this? Okay, sorry. Of course, my, my job is calling me now. Um, so anyways, yeah, so like um, the kids the kids love the, the band for King Country. I'm sure you guys have all heard of them. They have this song that they just came out with and it's, it's all about together and how we're going to win this thing together. And, and that's the truth. There's, that's the only way we're gonna we're gonna overcome any situation we have is is by doing it together, right? The part I hate about that song, like the song is great, such a great tune. I mean, if you don't know it, the kids can come up and sing it real quick. But the part I hate is the part where it says, "If we fall or if we fail." The reality is, is if, if we're doing it together, we're not gonna fail, right. right? So they need to take that out, especially if it's gonna be a, an uplifting Christian song. That's the part I hate about that song because we're not gonna we're not gonna lose. Not if you stay together, right? Just like Brother Tim. If you do it individually, that's what Exactly, right? So it brings me back to the, um, that puzzle piece that Brother Tim always, th- Pastor Tim, sorry, apologize, um, always talks about, right? That it's just so important. Like, the puzzle, most puzzles, right? Who's ever gotten a puzzle where the piece is perfectly square or circle, perfectly trying? They're not, right? They're shaped. They're fashioned to fit in. Why, why, why is that? So it's tight and it's snug and it's close. It's hard to break, right? So, so that's, that's the whole purpose of the puzzle and why we're this big puzzle that God is putting together. But the key is we have to stay together. If you don't stay together, we're not going to win. But the only way to stay in the boat, right, is to know who you are, right? Because the waves are going to come. Storm's going to come. And if you don't know who you are, you don't know who the, your foundation is, you're going to fall out of that boat. And the boat's going to keep going without you. So now that I just did a massive rabbit trail. Um, let me see. I just messed everything up by not looking at my notes. 
So we're going to go to um, let's go to Psalm 139. <clears throat> Sorry, my store keeps bothering me. Perfect timing. It's the enemy trying to distract me right now. All right, so Psalm 139. <clears throat> and, and this is also, like, this is such a crazy thought. I was thinking about this um, today. I got out of work, and I just came here, and I kind of hung out a little bit. And, like, th this just talks about how God created, um, created you before you were even created, essentially. Like, yeah. before you were even born, he created you. He made you. And, like... If you try to think about that, it doesn't make any sense. You know, because I'm in the car and I'm just hanging out, just trying to, you know, trying to meditate a little bit. And I'm like, God, if I had a hammock, I could go out there and hang out in the hammock and really try to figure this out. Yeah. And, and I couldn't. You can't really, you can't, our minds can't comprehend that, that we were made before we were made. You know, he, he it's like God had a, a, a draft and he was drafting a, um, a football team and he, he picked you before you, you were even, he knew you could play football. Like, you were picked way before you were, you were even there. It's just, it's crazy to think about. Um, so it says, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. <clears throat> I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. <clears throat> my frame was not hidden from you when I was made in this secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. <clears throat> so I just think of that, that, the part where it says woven together. That's how we are as a body. We're <clears throat> in that puzzle piece. We're wo woven together, so, so we're tight and, and, and close. Um, but like I said, the key is we have to know who, who, who you are, and you actually have to know who the person is that is sitting next to you. <clears throat> um, let's see. That's it. So let's go to Isaiah. <clears throat> So Isaiah 43 and 1 says, <clears throat> but now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, kind of funny how we sang a song that um, talked about Jacob. He who formed you, Israel, do not fear for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. So he knew your name before, you even, before your parents even gave you your name. We just have to just grasp that reality that he called you by name before you, they even spoke your name. <clears throat> And he created you. He formed you into that puzzle piece that's going to snap into that place where you belong. That's the problem is, is when you go to that place you don't belong, you're not going to be a part of that puzzle. You're not going to fit. You're going to be that awkward shape. You're going to be that, you know, you ever have a puzzle and you're like, where does this piece, where did I get this piece from? It doesn't fit anywhere. Right. It's an extra piece that has no, no purpose or meaning. Let's see. So God chose Israel to serve him in a special way. Same, same, same thing with us, right? He chose us to serve him in a special way. Um, and we're just meant to be an expression of, of who he is. So let's go to... So quiet in here. Uh, we're going to go to Jeremiah 1. Let's start at verse 4. So it says, The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. <clears throat> so just think of that. Before we were born, he already set us apart from this world. It's still un unimaginable. Like, he still can't comprehend that. Before you were even part of this world, he already he set you apart. Like, think about that. Um, I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. So before you were born, he already told you you were going to be a prophet to the nations. That's before you were, you were even on this planet. Yeah. Just crazy to think about. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so then it says, Alas, sovereign Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am too young. You must go to everyone and send you I send you to and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. So many times have we, you know, had the opportunity to say something and then you don't because you're afraid. It's because you don't really know who you are or know who he is in you. 
not to be harsh, I mean, I'm talking to myself. As usual, disclaimer, I'm usually preaching to myself, so I'm not pointing anybody out yet. We didn't get to that part. <laughs> so this says, the Lord reached out to his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, I have put my, my words in your mouth. So this, this is kind of cool, kind of crazy. But So verse 10 says, see, today I appoint you over nations and king, kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. I almost feel like after reading that, we should be going out there and doing these protests and these riots because this is what it says right here. We're supposed to go out there and uproot and tear down to destroy and destroy and overthrow everything and actually plant something good versus what is happening out in the world, right? Or am I just the crazy one right now? Come on, who's going to go out there with me and do this? Don't raise your hand if you're going to do it. See, everybody's going to do it. I got Ron back there. <laughs> That's right. You're lucky there's a Ron in front of you, though, so you're safe. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, let's see. So we're going to jump into Hebrews 3, um, verse 6. But it says, But Christ is faithful as the Son over God's house. Um, and then it says, We are his house. So that's back together. You can't have a house unless we're together, right? Um, I just lost my place. Uh, wow, I just lost where I was. Hebrews 3, 6. Hold on. Um, so, and we are his house. If indeed, so then it says if. So that's always the, you know, the, that's the part that we have to do now, right? So if indeed we hold firmly to our confidence and hope in which we glory. So we've got to hold firmly to our confidence and hope in which we glory. But if you don't know what your hope is or, 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 or what your glory is, then you have nothing to hold on to, right? So then, then this means nothing to us if we don't know that part, right? All right, so going back to youth group, because I just screwed all that up. Um, we were talking about the kids and their names, and it was actually kind of cool to have them all kind of come prepared with what their names meant. And it was good because, honestly, every time somebody said what their name meant, it was perfect with kind of who they are. You know, it was, you can't make this stuff up, right? So I'm just going to go through them real quick because I have them in front of me. So Aiden... Paul is fiery little one. That's Aiden. He's little, and, and he can be crazy sometimes, and he's on fire for the Lord. So it's perfect, right? Then Luke Joseph, he will add light. Then Gabriel Seth, the blessed anointed announcer. These, so these are like what we came up with, with what the meanings were. Um, Josiah, fiery Christ follower. Leah Rose, bringer of good news and love. So go figure. The quietest person is the bringer of good news. You can't make that stuff up, right? That's why he, brother, Pastor Tim always has her say, yes, Lord. Right? The bringer of good news. Um, and we had Sasha in the youth group. So same thing. Beloved defender of mankind. Kind, another quiet one. How can you defend somebody if you're shy and quiet? But if you allow God to work in you and you really know that that's the reality in your life, that's who you're going to be. Um, so we're going to go on to uh, the adults that were there. We got Savani, Angelic, Beloved, Truth. Um, then you got Peter, Aaron, who is his middle name. So teacher of stone, so foundational. So foundational teacher means he's got a good foundation built on a rock. Um, Rebecca Noel, Captivated New Life. And then we uh, had me, the Guardian of Spiritual Wealth. It really said guardian of wealth, but we added the spiritual part in there to be, to be spiritual. Everybody thought I was going to be rich, and I said, eh, it's probably not the rich. I mean, I guess it's the rich we wanted to be, not the worldly rich. <laughs> All right, so now moving on to you guys. So I took the time. I took a little picture last week of everybody that was here so I could remember who I was going to be looking up. So we're going to go through everybody real quick, hopefully. God. Um, but I thought it was really good. Honestly, like I just said, every, every meaning in here is you. It's, it's really who you are. And I, like I said, I think it's really important for us to know who we are, um, who are sitting next to and who is in this with us together. Um, 
Actually, I wanted to go, hold on, let me go to the scripture real quick before I start reading that. <clears throat> so we're going to go to John 14. Are you doing that thing up there? No, you're not. Okay, good. So I thought this was kind of cool. So this is John 14, 16. Um, and it's in, in, um, it says, um, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. So this is when, you know, um, the Spirit gets poured out as our helper, right? But I look at it as, look at the person next to you. If the Spirit lives in you, 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 you are our helpers to get through this, right? So it's not just the Spirit living in me, because that would be individual. God gave us everybody here as our helpers to, to overcome and to get through this. Um, and everybody needs to be in their place doing their function. You can't do this unless you know who you are in Christ. Let's see. All right, now going back to you guys. All right, now I'm really going to get to you guys. So to start off with, I kind of went in the order by my picture, sort of. So start off with Tammy. means palm tree or twin. From biblical name Tamar, meaning date, palm. So essentially, she's a fruit tree. I thought that was kind of cool, because you think of spiritual fruit, and then I think of what she's doing by planting seeds into our, our young dance team. You know, you got to put this stuff together, you know, for it to, to kind of make sense, right? <clears throat> so then if Ron Lefebvre was here, which I hope they're going to watch, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through people even if they're not here, because I feel like they're here for a reason, so... Uh, so I got Ron, Ron, Ron. So um, powerful, rules with counsel. And then I was like, oh, three Rons. What does that mean? Completeness, harmony, new life. So I thought that was kind of cool and, and important. Um, I thought Monica's was cool. Monica, advisor, truth, the mother who never stops praying or stopped praying. I actually wanted to read a scripture about Monica. Well, scripture's not really about Monica, but kind of ties into Monica. <clears throat> Let's see, Peter, 1 Peter 3, 1. So you might, like, you might think this is weird because this is talking about wives submitting to their husbands, but I kind of took the wife part and the husband part and I changed it around a little bit, so just bear with me. I know you're kind of not supposed to do that, but I'm only changing the name or the person, so I didn't really change anything else, okay? So just, just bear with me. And I might need prayer after this. So I, if Monica was here, I'd be looking at her right now. Well, maybe not, because it would be weird, but I'd say, so Monica, in the same way, it's submit yourselves to your own kids, so that if any of them do not believe the word, they may be won over without words by the behavior of their mothers. So I just really, like, it really, the Lord laid it on my heart when I, when I, when I look, read about the mother that never stopped praying, and then it brought me to that scripture. And I'm like, you know what? You're not going to win your kids over by preaching at them. Just keep, just keep living the life. You know who you are. And, and eventually, you know, you're giving it to God, and, and you're doing what you're supposed to do. So I hope she watches that. Aunt Kathy, Sister Kathy, this is, you can't make this stuff up. So your name means pure and clean. Who would have thought? I mean, you know, being in charge of cleaning the church. No, for real, though. It's not, I'm, not, I'm not joking, though, like, because if you... If you really think about it, having a clean house is very important. I'm talking spiritual. This is a spiritual meeting we're having right now, okay? This isn't worldly, okay? Having a clean house is very important. You got to get rid of the dust, the junk. You got to clean the bad things. You know, you got to get rid of that bad stuff or bigger things are going to come that you're not going to want to deal with, right? So I think I had a scripture for you too. I just can't remember what it said, but I'm going to look it up just to make sure. Losing my eyesight too. Oh cow. Okay, so just blessed are the are the pure in heart, for they will see God. So I think that's very true. I mean, you you know you, you go around you go about what your role is with a good heart, and that's that's hard to do, you know. So we appreciate that. Um. Oh no, did I ever miss Brother David? Because you should have been next. All right, you might be on my list. So I'm just gonna go through it in order, so I don't mess it up. Oh, you know what? Maybe you weren't, you weren't there because you were up here. Oh. Who is he? 
the beloved. Okay, see? Brother Tim knows. Gideon. Gideon. Brother Matt. Yeah, there we go. Okay. You know who you are. I'll look it up real quick before we go. And then, okay, so then um, I'm going to skip Brother Bud because I totally had a brain fart and thought his name was something different. So he's at the end of my list. <clears throat> so I was like, wait, that's not even Brother Bud's, like, name. <laughs> it was good, though, too, and I was like, oh, man. So... <clears throat> I know, right? So we're going to go to Sister Bernadette. It, uh, her name means bold as a bear. True. Isn't that true? Very true. So this is what's cool, too, is your, your name is associated with the number four, which means creation. So God created a lot on the fourth day. It was the day he created all of the great lights on the earth, the sun, the moon, and the stars. So think about that, right? You're a bold bear that has great light coming out of you. Can't make that up, right? <clears throat> Can we say it out loud? Oh, God. <laughs> All right, moving on for timing purposes here. All right, Sister Irene, your name means peace. Your peace comes from your strong faith in Jesus Christ. And I think of your spiritual peace. You are mentally and spiritually at peace even when facing discord or stress. And that's true. I believe that 100%. Uh, moving on to Brother Danny. This is another one you can't really make up. So Danny means God is uh, my judge. And I'm like, okay. And then I th start thinking of Daniel. And I, oh, let me just go to my notes because I'll jack this up. Uh, where did I put him? I hate these notebooks. I'm never using these again. Because once you flip it the wrong way, you're kind of messed up. Because now I just lost him. All right, let's go back to you. We'll get back to you. We'll pause that. Just think about that for a few minutes. Oh, no, found it. Okay, here we go. Time in. <clears throat> so you got to think of Daniel, right? Daniel endured some shattering trials and tests. But because he knew... He was, he was being judged by God. They had, he had the courage to stand up to one of the most powerful kings on earth. Even in the midst of some of the most trying trials, their attitude, his attitude was, God is my God, and I won't bow down to any other. And I really believe that's true. For everything that you've gone through and you're going through, I don't hear you cursing God. I, I, you still come up here every, every time you say, God is good. God is good. And you're going to be on, he's going to bless you for that. You want the mic? Yeah. Yeah. And so when you started this, I thought God is my judge because, and that's probably exactly what Daniel thought. He says, you know what? I know these lions look like they're pretty bad, but I'm probably a lot worse than that. Right. And I know there's up. I know there's up. This is something my mother used to say to me all the time. You know, when she, if your time is up, <clears> there is up. And that's probably what Daniel felt too when he walked into that lion's den. He didn't go in there like a sizzling. 
I don't think he thought he was going to go anywhere, though. I think he just had confidence in who he was in the Lord that the Lord was going to take care of him no matter what. So, yeah. That's good, though. Yep. It's good. All right. Moving on to Sister Helen. Um, so it means uh, uh, torch possibly means the moon. So I just think of a light in a dark place. You know? It's true. You let the light, sh- light shine forth wherever you go. Um... We're going to move on to Sister Linda. So, like, seriously, flexible, soft, and mild. Soft and mild, maybe not. Flexible, I see how you dance, yes. But soft and mild, I don't know about that. Well, that's to be determined. Soft and mild, yeah, so we'll stop there. But, um, but it also means beautiful. So I just think of, of your worship and how you dance before the Lord. I mean, he's definitely looking down, you know, looking down. That's worldly. Just, just looking at you and just smiling because it just brings him great joy, you know. Um, and then I, uh, Sister Dorothy, God's gift is what that means. Let me just. Uh... Anybody want to kill me yet? Is this good? No. Okay, good, good. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I just, I don't know why, I, I, it brought me to, when I was just really thinking about Genesis 1, 2, when I thought of that, it just, um, just, that says, now the earth was formless and empty, darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. So I just, I take that, and I, and I, and I, uh, I, I, um, I bring that down to our lives, like before we knew God, that's what we were, formless and empty, you know, but when, when we accepted him and we said, yes, Lord, Leah, if you were here, I'd be asking you to say that. Um, he gives us life, and, and we, we're his gift after that, you know. Um, Nira. Hi, Nira. It's back there. Okay. <laughs> means light, for, uh, furrow, plowed field. So I looked up the word furrow. It's a trench in the earth made by a plow. So I'm like, okay. So then I'm like, you know, you, know, you got to take it all into the spiritual, right, because you're just reading things out of, the, out of a book. So you... You're leaving your mark because of the light you are um, letting come forth wherever you go. You know, you're just, you're, just, you're just making that mark in the ground and saying, you know what, this is where I am with the Lord over here, and if you want to come, you can come, you know. <clears throat> um, I don't know why it jumps that way. <laughs> Got this at Walgreens, never doing that again. Um, so Rebecca, we kind of touched on it a little bit, but I wanted to go a little bit deeper with you, I think. So it's this captivating, to attract by the beauty of, your, of the spirit within you. Oh, she's not even here. God, I was pointing over there thinking she was sitting there. <laughs> Rebecca, you're over there somewhere. <laughs> um, I have a scripture too. Digital Bible is not working. Oh, my God. All right, whatever. This is getting all messed up, so I'll skip that. But I, the scripture I had for uh, Rebecca was the Song of Psalm 4-7. Uh, we're going to move on to uh, Samuel. So we got a couple of Sams in here. So God is exalted, or or Son of God. Let's see if I can get this thing to work now. Let's see. So I got, um, out of that one, it brought me to Exodus 15 and 2. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him. My Father's God, and I will exalt exalt him. So you just well, this, you got to know who who God is in your life. You got to you know, He's going to strengthen you and be your defense in everything you go through. So that's that's the key with that part is you know God is exalted. So you can exalt Him sometimes. You can exalt Him all the time. You know, be prepared in the tough times because it's easy to exalt Him in the good times. Uh, Matthew, gift of the Lord. John, four and ten. 
So Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. So just a gift of the Lord. Um, so we got Ann. Ann and Ann, all kind of the same same thing. Changed a couple of the last... Yeah, but you know what? It's fine. They all have the same... They go to the same route. So um, this one, it means favor or grace. You will find favor and grace because of your inner, inner beauty and love of God. Um, so Jeremy was here. Lifted up or exalted. And I looked up Jeremiah. It means Yahweh will raise. He will raise you up and help you overcome. So that's what he would have heard. Thought that was good too. Uh, Jen. So we got a couple Jens in here. Jen means fair one white wave, and I'm like, okay, what does that mean? But you look up the word white represents purity and innocence, and then wave is strength. So there's a purity and innocence, but you're also strong when you need to be, if you know who you are in the Lord. Um, going on to Stephen. So we got a couple Stevens here. Double witness, actually, because you got a junior here. Crown, wreath that which surrounds... Crown or wreath, that which surrounds. So crown, reward for those who serve as God, God's favor. Wreath, life brought through Jesus. So I thought that was good. Uh, We got Kelly, warrior, lively, aggressive. Maybe when we don't see you or don't know you outside the doors or something, I don't know. (laughs) But I thought of warrior and armor, same thing, right? So, So the word of God is your armor which makes you a warrior, um, especially through everything you've gone through, you know? So I thought that was kind of good. Um, then Sister Donna, lady of, lady of the home. So I looked up a scripture on that because I'm like, okay. But that's good. That's an important role because the lady of the house actually is the one that, um, that helps to raise up all the other ladies. You know, she's a good witness, a good role model. So that's a very important job, you know? Um... Let's see. Yeah, so like I, I looked up, I was in Titus, and it's two, uh, Titus 2, verse 4 and 5. It says, then they, they can urge the younger women to love their husbands and children. So pretty much teaching them how to love their husbands and raise, and raise their children. To be self-controlled and pure, that's a very important thing to teach, you know, the younger women, especially these days. Um, Spot. Okay, uh, to be busy at home, to be kind, to be subject to their husbands, so now no one will um, malign the word of God. So that's a very, I mean, that's a very important meaning right there, to, to be the, the lady of the home, because it's hard to find a good lady of the home these days. It's not in this house, though. We got lots of good ladies in here, so. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to my favorite mother-in-law, Kara, uh, Sister Kara, Mother, mother Kara. <laughs> I got a drink for that one. So it says to call, to proclaim, or to read can also, can also mean dearest one and beloved. So I just think of everything, you know, you've gone through in your life, you still proclaim the word of, or the word of the Lord over every si- single situation. So I believe that, you know, your name is, is right on with, with, what, it, with what it means. Um, Abigail, wherever she is up there. So th- this one's kind of cool. It says, my father's joy is what it means. So the father's desire for his daughter is to get to know him. So that's like, it brings him pure joy. So, so yeah, it brings him pure joy. So think about it. You, you, obviously, she's your daughter. I have a daughter. And it definitely brings me pure joy when I see my daughter do something for the, for the king. And I'm sure it does for you too. And what other, what other joy for the, for the greatest king there is than to have his daughter like, just bring, you know, to do, do what he, he asks her to do. You know, so I don't know why I'm looking at you saying that. I should be looking up there, but she's way over there. So, <laughs> and I thought of the the scripture of uh, Proverbs 31, and I know that it's um. Let me just go there. So once again, we're going to take the wife part out because you're not a wife yet. Um, but it's just, you know, a woman of noble, noble character who can find. It's very hard to find that these days. 
She is worth far more than rubies. Her, um, her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. So I took the husband out and said, Father. Her father has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. So that's, that's, that's what I got out of, out of Abigail. We're getting there. Bear with me. If I'm boring, you guys. Um, let's see. Colleen, girl of God. And then I got victory of the people. Is that right? Sound right? Could be right. Okay. Um, Sister Chris, follow, Christina, right? For real name? Okay. I just want to make sure. Everybody calls everybody something different, and I'm not sure sometimes. It's like, wait, what's their real name? Um, so uh, follower of Christ, obviously. That one's kind of an easy one. Um, you know, and then it brought me to, I'm not going to read it just for time's sake, because I still got a little, a couple of things to do. Um, but it just brought me to Matt, uh, Matthew 10, 34, 39. It just talks about how following Jesus can lead to difficult times, but you still do it because you know who you are in the Lord, and you know that it's, that's, that's just what you're supposed to do, you know. Um, I actually have something for the new people that are, aren't here today. So I know that guy, Tom, right, because I'm bad with names. So uh, his name means twin means forming or being of one. And I feel like, you know, if he was here, he's out there maybe watching. Like, I don't know where he, where he is with his walk in the Lord, but I feel like because he's here, the Lord is trying to, you know, what's the end goal? To be made in his image. So yeah. to be a twin, you're, you're going to look exactly like the, the person next to you or the person that, made, you know, who you're trying to replicate. So that's, that's who I thought, that's what I thought of with Tom. And then I think his wife's name was Suzanne. Suzanne, good, see, I'm not losing it, um, means lily, purity, fresh life, and rebirth. So like I said, I don't know where, where they've come from, what they're going through, but, you know, they're coming here, they're, they're praising the Lord, that's fresh life, rebirth, rededication, don't know. Um, Sister Elise, God's promise, promise is covenant or declaration that one will do exactly what they say, but that was good. Um, and then, uh, Brother John, Jehovah has been gracious, has shown favor or approval. I feel like I'm missing a page. Got them. Did that. All right, Brother Tim. Timothy, honoring God, one who honors God. Um... And I'm not going to go there, but Deuteronomy 6.5 talks about that. But honor is talked about a lot in the Bible, so God holds it at the utmost importance. Um, Sister Sandra, defender of mankind. She is brave, so she married Tim, Brother Tim. She's got to be brave. But then it also says defender of family values. So, you know, being the, the you know, Co-mother, the mother of the house, you know, she's defend, she's the defender of the family values in the house, yeah. and defender of the word. Um, Megan, Pearl, person of great rarity and worth. And I just all I think of is if you if you walk with the Lord, that's what you're going to end up being. You know, a person of a person that's rare and of great purity and of of, of worth. I was going to do a study on the pearl, but it, was, it would have taken forever. But I thought it was really cool. Maybe, maybe next time. Uh, Sister Fran. What, huh? The pearl study? Do you? What is it? Pretty close. Mother Superior with a life path. Foundation of God's word represents number seven, completeness and perfection. So, right on, right? Uh, Nikita, victory of people. So victory means defeating of an enemy. Prayer, encouragement, and prophetic words. And I mean, that's, that's who he is. You know, he's always praying for somebody. He's always encouraging somebody. He's always, you know, giving a prophetic word. Um, and I'm not doing this to pump people up. You know, I just think it's important for us to know who we are and to know who the person ne- who that is next to us. Um, So I added some kids in here real quick. So Eliana means God has answered me. Rachel, the kids thought it was funny when I I said this one because it literally says, I think it says oo, right? Oo-ooey, whatever that means. But it really means, it really stands for female sheep. 
which isn't a bad thing because the sheep, what does the sheep do? Follows the shepherd, right. right? And we know who the shepherd is. Um, you know, I really wanted to add um, uh, Chris and Karen to this. So we already talked about, I think I, oh, I definitely skipped some people because I had something for Chris Vega in here too. I don't know what happened to it. Hold on. I'll get there. So we're going to go to Karen. Pure means not mixed with any other substance or material. So her name is, means pure. Free of contamination. Zoe, life, we means life. Characteristics that separate a living thing from a dead matter. So if you think of that in the spiritual, life, the characteristic that lives inside of you will separate you from the dead, the world. Um, Jaden, Jehovah has heard. Going to go to Edwin, rich friend. Hopefully not in the world, but spiritually rich. Um, let's see, I added Andrew. Manly, brave, strong, courageous, warrior. Kathy, pure. I was going to throw a joke in there, but I can't. I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. Riley means courageous, lively, brave. Cassidy means clever, quick to understand. Parker means park keeper, but I mean, hey, um, parks are an area devoted to a specific purpose, so you know, that might mean something when he gets older. Um, Brother Bud, Army Ruler General. That's, that's what your name means. Um, then I, if you, that's, that's Walter. That's what Walter means. But if you add the Bud part, you add friend to that. And I really, I mean, you're, you're a general in this house, you know? Okay, so I definitely skipped the page because I thought I had other people. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth, my God is an oath. Or my God is, um, wait, my God is an oath, or my God abundance. Oath means promise invoking divine witness. Um, for, so for the Chris's in the house, I think of Chris Vega and Chris Buell. Leader, Christopher, support or follow. Um, let's see what else did I have on here? I had something else for them. So there's five essential qualities of a great leader. One of them is clarity. They are clear in conscience at all times. Decisiveness. Once they make up their mind, they don't hesitate to commit. They're courageous. They're, they have passion and humility. So that's what Chris means. And then I believe, last but not least, I had Amy. So dearly loved and beloved. And that's, I mean, that's who Sister Amy is. You know, she's that person you, I don't think you could hate her if you tried, you know? I'm not saying that I would try, but I'm just saying, you know, she's just that bubbly, cheery, happy-go person that just loves everybody, and everybody loves Amy, so. And I think I got everybody, right? Or did I forget somebody? It's everybody, right? Okay. So with that, now we know who, who we are, right? Right? You know who you are? You know who the person is next to you? So now we got to figure out who he is, right? We need to really know who he is. Hey, Nick. Oh, you're right there. Can we do that thing? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna watch a, sh a short video, I think, or they're gonna play a short video. God's nature never changes. He is, and he will always be. He is who he is. That's what his name Jehovah even means. Means I am. Yahweh means he is. He's God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is. He is. Elohim, God, Judge, Creator, Yahweh, Lord, Jehovah, El Elyon, the Most High God, Adonai, Lord, Master, El Shaddai, Lord God Almighty, El Olam, the Everlasting God, the God of Eternity, the God of the Universe, the God of Ancient Days. He is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. He is the Shiloh, the Peacemaker, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals. Jehovah Nissi, the Lord my banner, the Lord my miracle. He is Kana, jealous. He is Jehovah Enkadash, the Lord who sanctifies you, the Lord who makes holy. He is, he is a star, a scepter out of Israel, the cursed of God, the captain of the host of the Lord. Jehovah Shalom, 
The Lord is peace. Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of powers. The rock of my salvation. My salvation. He is the light of the morning when the sun rises, a morning without clouds. He is the Jaysman. The interpreter. My rock and my redeemer. He is crowned, the crown of pure gold. The most blessed forever. Forever. He is the forsaken. The worm and no man. He is Jehovah Ra. He is my restorer. The king of glory. He who setteth king forever he is a stranger and an alien. My strong rock, my rock and my fortress. Fairer than the children of men, the rock that is higher than I. The rock of my strength. The rock of habitation. He is as rain upon the mown grass, as showers that water the earth. The rock of my heart, the, the shield. shield. The rock of my refuge. The king and priest after the order of Melchizedek. A brother born for adversity. The friend that loveth at all times. A stone, stone of grace. grace. A friend that sticketh closer than a brother. He is his ointment poured forth. My well-beloved. A bundle of myrrh. A cluster of henna blooms. The rose of Sharon. He is the lily of the valley. The lily of the valley. The chiefest among ten thousand. His countenance is as Lebanon. Yea, he is altogether lovely. He is my beloved and my friend. He is holy, holy, holy. He's a sanctuary. The great light. A son given. The mighty God. The Father. Father of eternity, he is a child born, the Prince of Peace, an ensign of the people, the nail fastened in a sure place, a strength to the poor, strength. a strength to the needy in distress, a shadow from the heat, a refuge from the storm, he is the rock of ages, a crown of glory and beauty, he is a stone, a triad stone, a covert from the tempest, from the tempest. He is as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land, as a hiding place from the wind. He is the king in his beauty, my leader, the everlasting, the everlasting God. He is mine elect, in whom my soul delighted. He is a light of the Gentiles, the covenant of the people, the polished shaft, glorious. He is the Holy One of Israel. He is a man of sorrows. Despised. He's rejected. He is stricken. stricken. Smitten. He is wounded. He is bruised. He is oppressed. He is my, my portion, my maker, my husband. He's the God of the old earth, the witness to his people, the leader, the commander, the redeemer. He is mighty. He is my physician. Jehovah Sid Canoe, the Lord our righteousness. David, their king, their king. My resting place. My feeder. The plant of renown. Jehovah Shama, the Lord is there. He is the prince of princes. The Messiah. The prince. The strength of the children of Israel. The, the hope, hope of, of thy people. people. The ruler. He is king over all the earth. He is a refiner's fire. Holders, so my refiner, my purifier, purifier, son of righteousness. He is Jesus, Yeshua, salvation, Emmanuel, God with us. He is born as the King of the Jews. He is a governor, the Nazarene, as the bridegroom. He is meek, lowly. He is the one of whom the Father says, My beloved, in whom my soul is well pleased. The Son of the living God, Jesus the Christ, the, the Rock. The builder, the prophet of Nazareth, he is betrayed, mocked, crucified, the Holy One of God, my brother, the carpenter, and his life is a ransom. He is the Son of the Blessed, the Son of the Highest, God my Savior, the Horn of Salvation, the Day Spring from on, on high, a Savior which is Christ the Lord, the salvation of God. He is the glory of thy people Israel, Lord of the Sabbath, my healer, the Christ of God, my servant, the chosen of God, he is risen, he is risen. a prophet mighty in deed and word. He is the word, the word that was with God, the word that was God, the light of men, the true light, the word that was made flesh. He is the only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father. Is the Lamb of God. My teacher. The, teacher. the gift, of, the gift God. of God. He is Messiah. The bread of God. The bread of life. He is my meat. My drink. The light of the world. The door of the sheep. The, the good, good shepherd, shepherd that laid down his life. The scent of the Father. He is the resurrection. The king of the daughter of Zion. The corn of wheat. He is the light. The light. My Lord, Master. My example. He is the way, the truth, the life, the vine, scourged, crowned with a crown of thorns, crucified as the king of the Jews. He is exalted, glorified, the holy one and the just, the prince of life, the anointed, the prince and his savior. 
He is Lord Jesus. He is Lord of all. The Judge. Jesus of Nazareth. The Mercy Seat. Jesus Christ our Lord. He is the firstborn among many brethren. Over all, God bless forever. Lord over all. The Deliverer. Deliverer. Lord both of the dead and living. The Minister of the Circumcision. He is my wisdom. My righteousness. My sanctification. My redemption. He is the foundation. My Passover. The spiritual rock. The head of every man. The first fruits of them that slept. He is the last Adam. The quickening spirit. The image of God. His unspeakable gift. My peace. He is the offering. He is the sacrifice. The head over all things to the church. He is he that filleth all in all. He is a servant who humbled himself unto death, even death on a cross. He is the Lord Jesus Christ, the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature, creator of all things, the, the firstborn born from the, the dead, the head of the body, the church, the hand of all principalities and powers. He is my all in all. He, he is, is our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ himself. He is Lord of peace. He is our Lord of hope. He is God manifest in the flesh. He is the justified, the mediator, the righteous judge, the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He is obedient and his throne is forever and ever. And ever. He is the upholder of all things, the express image of his person, the brightness of his glory. He is Jesus Christ, same yesterday, today, and forever, the shepherd of the sheep, the great shepherd that was brought again from the dead. He is a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle and his flesh is the veil which was wrapped in two. He is the altar, the offerer, the forerunner for us. Enter even Jesus. He is the priest, the, priest, the high priest, the great high priest, the intercessor, the surety, the covenanter. He is the captain of salvation, the author and finisher of faith, the king of righteousness, the king of peace. He is crowned with glory and honor. He is the tempted, the merciful, the faithful. He is holy, harmless, undefiled. He is the shepherd. He is the perfect. He is my helper, the lamb without blemish. And without spot, the living stone. He is a cheap cornerstone. He is a precious stone. He is guileless. He is bottom. He is the chief shepherd that shall again appear. Today, uh, my Savior. He is the word of life. He is the life. He is that eternal life which was with the Father. He is Jesus Christ, the righteous, the Savior of the world, the true God, the true God, the Advocate. He is the Advocate. The Advocate. He is Jesus Christ. He is the first begotten of the dead. He is the Prince of the Kings of the earth. He is. He is the Almighty, which is, which was, which is to come. He is the beginning and the ending. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the first and the last. He is he that liveth. He is the tree of life. He is the hidden manna. He is the faithful and the true witness. He is the Amen. He is the beginning of the creation of God. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the lamb that was slain. Huh? I thought that was cool. That was, um, we were coming to church on Sunday, and I was like, all right, so now we got to talk about who he is. And then Savani was, li was uh, listening to a song, getting ready for worship, and that just started playing on YouTube. I was like, wow, that, did you choose that? And she said, no, it just came on. I was like, wow, that's actually perfect, because I couldn't sum it up any better. You know, he is all that. So now that we know who, who he is, and who we are. I think I just have one last thing. We're going to wrap this up. So I'm going to read out of... Um, let's see, 
I'm going to go to Revelation 3 and 12. So it says, um, The one who is victorious, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. Never, never again will they leave it. I will write on them the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven from my God. And I will also write on them my new name. So this was um, to the church of Philadelphia, and we know that that means love for the brethren. Um, and true godly love for one another can only be manifested in the life of a believer who is in fellowship with the Father. So that's the key. We have to have fellowship with the Father and fellowship with one another to overcome, to win together. Right? And that's all I got. I got one thing I want to say. All right? Isn't it awesome that what he just played and all that he talked about, that you could go on and on and on through the ages of who he is, but isn't it great that he wants to express all of that through a people? Come on now. There's where it really is. He is all of that and then some, but he wants to express it through a people. Amen? So as you leave tonight, express who he is in every place you go.